The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. And today, guys, what we're going to be talking about is the Madden Championship Series information that was released today by EA. It's how you're going to be able to qualify and to compete for the million dollars in total prizes that they're going to be having this year in the four major tournaments. Now, uh, guys, if you head on over to the EA blog, and I will leave a link to this in the description of this video if you want to check it out yourselves. But basically here, guys, we have some information here regarding the championship series. Like it says, a million dollars up for grabs. That's pretty cool. Um, so now if you go over here and you actually say that you want to register, by the way, I noticed this. It just takes you to the Mutt Rewards page. So obviously that link's got to get fixed. I don't know what's going on with that. But if you go over and you click on EA Major Series, what you're going to end up actually seeing here is some information surrounding the four tournaments that they're going to be doing this year. Now, if you go down, you're going to see here uh, that it's it has the four main tournaments that they're going to be doing this year. The Madden Classic, the Madden Bowl, the Madden Challenge, and the Madden Championship. Now, you're going to be able to qualify for the first three of those tournaments, so the Classic, the Bowl, and the Challenge, by playing on Xbox or PlayStation, Xbox One specifically, and the PlayStation 4. And during the Championship Series, I believe that uh, the Madden Championship, now the final one, I believe is going to be kind of a culmination of the people who performed the best in the first three tournaments, if that makes sense. Uh, so obviously, guys, you're going to want to make sure that you compete well in those first three tournaments if you want the shot at the big prize at the end. Now, the first three tournaments are not all equal, okay? So the very first tournament that we're going to have is the Madden Classic. Now, this is a, a pretty traditional tournament that they've been doing. Um, this is $100,000. Now, basically, guys, what you're going to do to get into this tournament, you have to play regular head-to-head -head ranked. Now, this doesn't mean mutt. This means regular teams. So you go on and you play ranked head-to-head -head again, you know, Seahawks versus Seahawks. Like, you're going to see freaking a million times this year. Maybe there's some other teams. Maybe the Cardinals. Uh, maybe the Panthers. I, I don't know what other teams people would want to play with. Maybe the Patriots. I, I don't know. Broncos. Something like that. But basically, guys, what you're going to end up seeing here is a hell of a lot of the teams that are the same, I'm assuming, playing over there on uh, standard ranked head-to-head. -head. You can also qualify by playing uh, draft champions. Now, this is ranked draft champions only. I don't know why they didn't specify that, but developers have come out since that point and said, yes, it is only ranked draft champions. So if you're playing unranked, you're not going to be in the qualification tournament uh, to, or the, the qualification possibilities to get into the tournament. Uh, last thing, you can play a ranked salary cap. Now, uh, again, guys, all of these modes you can play to get into this tournament. So uh, we don't know exactly what the numbers are going to be. So uh, it could be top eight from each. It could be, um, you know, 12. It, it, we don't really have any idea yet. But what you want to do is you want to be put as high as you can on at least one of those uh, ranking boards. So my opinion is you want to try and probably pick a game mode that you're going to play the most and just grind on that one because it's going to be difficult to be at the top of both unless you just have all the time in the world to play play Madden this year uh, or all three even if you wanted to do that but um, as far as I understand it you're going to want to probably grind out one unless we get information that says that uh, all of your rankings combined are going to be added into like a point system or something like that and whoever is the highest then would go from there we don't really have an idea on that but it sounds to me like you're just going to want to be as high as you can on one of the rating uh, rankings boards now what you didn't see on here like I said is mutt so that's a little bit of a problem. Um, standard Mutt is not included as far as qualification, at least to this first tournament. Um, and then it also says here that the finals will be played on draft champions. So regardless of what game mode that you get qualified on, whether it's head-to-head uh, -head standard, whether it's draft champions, or whether it's salary cap, that final tournament for the Madden Classic will be played in November, and it will be played on draft champions. So keep that in mind. And again, rank draft champions. So you're going to be playing for $100,000 in that first tournament. Not a huge prize pool, but definitely a good prize pool, I would say, uh, to get things started for the year. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, like a UMG tournament for, uh, for a Call of Duty tournament. Decent size, not anything amazing, but definitely a quality start to the tournaments. Um, now, it, from there, we're going to see another tournament called the Madden Bowl, and this is going to be done in February. So it's going to be, uh, what, 
two months between them it looks like it, yeah it looks like there's gonna be two months between the tournaments so once this one ends i'm sure the qualifications are going to start for this one the madden bowl now you're going to be playing for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in this one and again this one is in uh to february 2017 again location is uh to be determined on this one by the way i didn't mention in the madden classic it looks like it's gonna be played in burbank california so uh, i'm assuming that at least one of these will be done in orlando at the ea studios but we don't know that for sure. Either way, uh, $250,000 here for the Madden Bowl. Now, this is going to be played again in February 2017, and the qualifications are only Mutt Salary Cap and Draft Champions. Again, ranked Draft Champions. So no head-to-head -head on this one. Kind of interesting. I don't know why they would have changed that, but they did. Uh, and then the finals will be played on Mutt Salary Cap. So again... Regardless of what you qualify on, whether it's draft champions or salary cap, the final games will be played on salary cap. So you want to make sure that you at least have a decent team by the time that you head there to that tournament. Um, so again, guys, this is a, it's a little bit weird in my opinion that they're doing things this way, but it's 250 grand on the line for this tournament. No mutt, no head to head for Madden Bowl. I, I don't really understand that, but it is what it is. Then the third tournament that you're going to be able to potentially qualify for is, again, another $150,000 tournament. This is referred to as the Madden Challenge. This one will be played in April of 2017, back again in Burbank, California. The Mutt Salary Cap mode and the Draft Champions mode, once again, are your qualification modes for this one. So no head-to-head, -head, no Mutt. Keep that stuff in mind. Only head-to-head -head looks like it's going to qualify you for that first tournament. And potentially, if you win it, you might be able to make it to that championship uh, in the end. But kind of crazy how they're doing that. Now, this one is $150,000. So it's a little bit weird that they went from $100,000 to $250,000 and then back to $150,000. But one thing you will notice is that the ones that are on Draft Champions, so this one, again, the Madden Challenge is going to be on Draft Champions. The finals are. Um, that one and then the Madden Classic, those two are only a total prize pool of $250,000. Now, I say only. That's still huge. I mean, that's as big of tournaments, uh, as big of a prize pool as we've had for practically any tournament in Madden history for both of those. So I'm not complaining on that. But it's a little bit weird that it's that way. And then the Madden Bowl by itself is $250,000. So kind of interesting that they did things that way. Then, guys, the final tournament will be the Madden Championship and uh, all we have so far is that it says qualification mode is series points now my opinion is that it's going to be like I said the best of the best from the first three tournaments so whoever did the best um, you know if you win you're probably practically already in no matter what but uh, you're gonna want to try and compete in all three of them if you want to get into this final tournament and uh, the final tournament is going to be the like I said the Madden Championship $500,000 on the line, a half a million freaking dollars, guys. That's absolutely insane. Probably something like $200,000, $250,000 to the winner would be my guess. So, I mean, you're going to be making somebody's life in this tournament. Somebody is going to be making their life in this thing. That's freaking incredible. So cool. Very, very exciting. And, um, again, I'm happy that EA did this. I think this is a big step in the right direction for competitive Madden. Um, the game still needs some work. But I still think that doing things like this, putting together tournaments, putting your money where your mouth is if you're EA Sports, I love it. Uh, and, you know, we can complain about that a million dollars isn't anything to EA. But guess what? A million dollars is still a million dollars, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy money to play a video game. But, again, guys, this is going to be played in May of 2017. Now, again, that's only a month after the Madden Challenge. So keep that in mind. So from May until August, there's going to be no tournaments Kind of a dead time, it seems like, uh, again this year for after May, at least in terms of competitive, unfortunately. And by the time that the Madden Championship comes out, you're going to have all of your like your golden tickets, all of your boss legends for the most part. Um, pretty much all the best cards in the game are already going to be in the game at this point. And again, this is going to be played on much salary cap, so you're going to be seeing some of those crazy-ass players on people's teams here for this Madden uh, Championship, I believe. Again, May 2017, we don't know where it's going to be played quite yet. But, um, yeah, $500,000 on the line. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. Now, I want to hear from you guys. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments section below. I don't have all the answers, but I'll try and find them for you. I do have some connections with some of the guys at EA. So, hopefully, I can make some, uh, make some of those questions, have answers. But I also want to hear from you guys. What do you think about these various different tournaments that they're doing? What do you think about the fact that there's no mutt mode? 
I know some of the competitive guys have come out in support of it. Some of the other guys have come out against it. But I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What do you think about this? Do you think it's a problem? And then also, what do you think about the fact that head-to-head, -head, standard like teams head-to-head, -head is only a qualification for that first tournament? Do you think it's just like the transition period telling people like, hey, you know, we want you to start playing salary cap and draft champions? Or is it just like maybe they forgot or like I don't know what happened. I'm really quite confused on it, but I want to hear from you guys regarding that. Um, and then last but not least, what do you think about the breakdown of the money for the various tournaments? Do you think it's kind of weird that Draft Champions kind of got the shaft and is only 250 grand for two tournaments, whereas uh, Salary Cap is 750 grand for the two tournaments? Again, let me know in the comments section below which game mode do you think is the best for competitive Madden. I guess my personal opinion is I think the best game mode is probably Salary Cap. But I, I want to hear from you guys, and I want to hear some uh, opinions on why you think one way or another. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thanks so much. Hopefully, you learned something. If you did, do me a quick favor and drop a like on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And good luck to you guys as you try to compete for this million dollars in prizes, man. I hope one of you guys wins it. I, I really, truly do. I know I'm not good enough to make it, but I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to be covering it. And, you know, if, if any of you guys are, you know, making it close in the tournament and you want to come on the channel and chat and uh, get some hype for yourself and, you know, promote yourself, I would love to have you on the channel. So let me know. And again, guys, good luck with all the tournaments and things like that. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoy your day. Have a good rest of the afternoon, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.